my name is Mandy Bottoms and I'm from California Foundation for Agriculture in the Classroom. Today I have the pleasure of sharing with you an activity called Playing It Safe from our resource Food Safety from Farm to Fork. In this activity, students will practice safe food handling procedures while also learning a little bit more about the science behind food safety, all while playing a board game. In this activity, the materials needed are a What's All the Talk About Food Safety handout, one for each participant. And for each group, um, they need a Playing It Safe game board, sponges, which will act as the game pieces, playing cards, which are provided with the kit, and finally, for an extension activity, um, this is optional, but a dry erase marker. To introduce this activity, give each student a What's All the Talk About Food Safety handout. Once every student has their handout, uh, you um, divide the students into groups of six. There are six different paragraphs on the handout. Um, each student will have about one minute to read their assigned paragraph silently. And after a minute's over, they will share, um, summarize what their paragraph contained with their entire group. So basically each student will read a paragraph and then take turns sharing until the whole page has been summarized by the group. Make sure the students know the difference between summarizing and rereading because sometimes they'll want to reread it when they actually should be summarizing what they've learned. Once students have covered the background information, you'll give each group a playing it safe board game. Uh, up to six uh, participants or students, if you're working with young people, uh, can use the board game at any given time. The first thing that they're going to do is take their game pieces and they're all going to start on start. Once they're set up on the board, the next thing they'll do is take the playing cards, give them a quick shuffle, or they might be shuffled already, and place them face down on the game board. Students will take turns, starting with the oldest or the youngest or however you want to divide them, by picking up a card, reading it out loud, and then doing what the card says. So for example, this card says, Mom called and asked you to put the ground beef out to thaw. You placed it on the countertop all day to defrost. Move back three spaces. So if a student's on the start, they can't move back any farther. Um, they'll just have to wait till the next turn where they might have an opportunity to move ahead. After done with the game piece, students can put it at the bottom of the pile. Students can keep playing the board game until one student crosses the finish line. You may need to reuse the cards or reshuffle them in the middle of the game to keep the game going. Another activity that you can do in extension to this is at the bottom of the game board there's a list of causes and effects and it's a good practice for students to realize the difference. Um, the instructions say read each of the following statements, underline the cause, and circle the effect. So students can use their dry erase marker um, to practice identifying the cause and the effect. For example, the first one says the milk was not refrigerated so it turned sour. Um, in this case, students would underline the cause, the milk was not refrigerated, and circle the effect, it turned sour. It's a good practice for them to realize how their actions affect food safety. For more extensions and activities related to agriculture, you can visit the California Foundation for Agriculture in the Classroom website at www.learnaboutag.org.